Hi, my name is LaShonda and I stutter. So I wanted to talk about my speech and how I talk. <laughs> so it started when I was about three, three or four years old. Um, my mom knew that I kind of talked a little bit different and I would repeat, you know, my words a lot. Um, so she decided to, uh, you know, put me in speech therapy. Um, and I guess for speech ther therapy that helped me a little bit, but it didn't help me a whole lot. As you can tell, because I still stutter um, I went through my life for years not really knowing anyone else who spoke the way that I spoke I knew of one lady in my older years maybe when I was like a teenager or like a preteen or whatever she had a severe a stutter and uh, in my older you know life I was like man she's the only person I that I ever knew and so I was hoping to you know get in contact with her but I never was able to so you know throughout the years I felt so alone and so um, during my childhood I was teased like over and over and over about you know my speech when other people would get angry at me that's you know what they would hit on oh well you can't talk this is how you talk you know and it would be really hurtful and I would get really upset you know about it so in order to cope I would try to switch my words to words that I don't stutter on um, and that kind of helped me to get through um, my my uh, elementary years and high school years and also middle school. Um, and I also noticed that if I were kind of acting, you know, like a little bit, I would speak more fluent. And so that kind of helped me as well. Um, I, I didn't care that the word choices that I used in place of other words kind of it didn't fit. All I c it cared about was hiding, you know, the fact that I had a, stut a stutter and that I was close to fluent as I could possibly be and close to being like everyone else that, you know, I could possibly be. Um, and so I was, I would say that, um, because I had those techniques or tricks or, or uh, coping mechanisms, I was able to get through, um, you know, my, my, uh, younger years, my childhood years, um, and it, it was definitely hard for me. There were things that I was terrified of doing, especially at home. Um, like calling, for instance, was my was a nightmare for me. I didn't do it. I did not call. Um, the thing about me is what like I was called irresponsible by like um, you know like people and you know like jobs and stuff because I would not call in I'm probably called into my jobs maybe um, two or three times and that would take guts for me like I would have to rehearse over and over and over the things that I plan to say and I would you know plan to do it as short and sweet as possible um, you know so that's one of the things and also like if I was at the doctors or I needed you know to see um, a, a doctor my mom tried over and over and over to have me call on my own and 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 
uh, set appointments, um, but I didn't want to do that. I never wanted to do that. Ordering food as well um, was the hardest thing as well. I, if I was at a place where I could sit down and order food, I would have my um, menu and I would point at the item that I would want to eat. If I was at a place like, um, you know, McDonald's, uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I would have other people order for me and I would try to kind of explain, I would, you know, tr I would kind of try to explain why, but not explain that I had a speech problem. Um, so I would say like, hey, can you go in and order, you know, this, you know, for me, I'll be out here, you know, with the car, I gotta hop on this, on, on a call, or I have to, you know, like, do something for school or something, so I would, you know, try to have, um, someone else do it, or I would order, um, uh, an item that I was not interested in eating, that I, you know, did not want to eat so oftentimes I would eat uh, something that I didn't want but I was able to eat so I would do this for years upon years upon years upon years and that was you know m my life I met my husband in 1999 he had no idea that I stuttered at all but I was in love. I was like, he is fine. <laughs> so I, I was like, man, and he thought I was beautiful. So, you know, we talked. Well, we didn't really talk. Um, well, actually, no, we did talk. The first time that we spoke, I was terrified of talking to him on the phone. So what I did was I had a, a friend of mine actually speak to him on the phone for me and act as if she was me crazy thing I know because he he could have uh, fallen in love with her but you know because she was answering with my answers <laughs> he f uh, f f f fell in love with me um, one day after church we spoke and he he heard me stutter on a word and he actually laughed at me um you know because he he didn't know that that was who I was and that was how I spoke and my other friend Ashley was there and she heard him and she was livid she was so upset with him that he would even dare do it you know but he didn't know he had no idea and he thought that it was a joke he thought I was joking and I was I was kind of down and I was down about it but then he was like oh you know I had no idea I'm so, so sorry you know but to him he didn't really care and and at the age he was about 15 years old and I was 14 years old and but he didn't care he was like I love you I like you for you and I don't care how you speak and so to me that was just like man that was, that was it was a beautiful thing and for the uh, him and I we often wrote letters to each other we did it actually every day we actually had a, a notebook that we would um, pass to each other every week and that's how we kind of grew to fall in love but that's a whole nother story uh, so after I got to after I got married and like all that stuff um, I had a fear of, you know, my children and, you know, the names I would name them because I never w wanted to block on their names or stutter on their names. So I was like, I had a plan to choose 
easy names that I could be fluent on. So when people would ask me, it would just be easy and you know smooth and stuff. But over the time after I th 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 thought about it, I you know dis decided that I w wanted names that would you know describe them and not names that were that I and name them only because it was easy for me. I, 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 you know, didn't think that that was fair to them. So now I have three beautiful children and they have beautiful names also, but they're also names that I do block on and that's okay. Um, over the past like year, I've pretty much faced like a lot of my fears that I've had. One, major fear that I had was wrapped up in in a dream that I had and I always had a dream of being a a singer but I knew that in order to be a a singer and have that as your job you would definitely need to um, do interviews and stuff now, I had planned to be an R&B singer. That's definitely not the singer that I am now, but God made it possible for me to have a radio interview. Yeah, a radio interview. And I was like, great, wonderful. I knew that this was gonna happen, yeah. I was terrified, everyone, and but I did it. I did it and I was able to really open up and share with all of the listeners who I was and really you know my story um, and it was after I did it I felt so liberated and free and I just was in true disbelief that I actually did this and absolutely I I give all you know glory to God because I knew that I wasn't just doing it on my own my life has been very difficult just dealing with all you know you know the laughs and the shame and the fears that that come along with st 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 stuttering it's not just a speech thing it's not just that I can't talk it really takes a toll on your con your confidence it really it, it, it takes a toll on your insecurities and things like that it, it, and I think it really heightens your insecurities um, it's been really a work in progress for me and it's been absolutely a daily thing that I have to continue to push myself to speak. Speaking to new people is one of the hardest things for me to do. For me to just go up to anybody and just speak to them, just at random is super difficult for me to do um, but um, I try to do it when I can um, because I know that it's only going to help me and oftentimes people do laugh I don't know if it's you know because they are unsure of how to react to you know my speech or if they think that I'm joking and it's definitely not a joke so I have to, you know, push past, push past that. Um, in the past, when people would laugh, I would just kind of, you know, hang my head in shame and not explain, you know, you know, to them what exactly is going on. But as of late, I've been like, um, hi, I actually have a, sp a speech problem and I'm the type of person that I don't like to make people feel bad 
but if they do I mean I really can't help that and I'm hoping that you know you know because I was so honest with them that you know they would think twice about l laughing at at someone and that you know a person might just have a a disability you never know <laughs> so if you have a stutter or a disability i would love you know for you to sh 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 share with me your your history and who you are and 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 other circumstances that you deal with yes the speech and stutter thing is definitely something hard we have our ups and downs but if we can really just choose to be on an up choose to be strong you know and we can do this thing we can do this um at last year i was able to find a bunch of stuttering groups on Facebook and I was absolutely blown always because because I was hearing a lot of um, stories about people and th that they had the stories that I had and I was like whoa it's crazy to even think that there are people out there that are dealing with the same things that I'm dealing with people that actually order foods that they don't want but they order it because it's easy to say people who kind of hide out you know because you know they don't want to share with others who they really are people who've actually been made fun of in their childhood just like me and it was amazing to see um but I've also seen that these people are strong people. These people have really great jobs. These people are doctors. These people are actors. These people are news anchors. These people are artists. These people sing. These people play instruments. So it's really up you know, to you to allow your, um, your short comings to overtake you it's up you know to you to have your fear consume you you don't have to you have a choice so that is really all that I wanted to share with you guys um, but this is who I am I stutter if you love this video please give it a thumbs up rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.